Once upon a time, in a small town, lived two siblings, a boy and a girl. The boy's name was Harry, and he was so naughty. And the girl's name was Sally. She was very smart, but also a bit forgetful. Harry and his older sister Sally were very poor. They often went to bed with their stomachs empty and were hungry every day. At night, it was hard for them to go to sleep because their stomachs hurt. One day, Sally was so hungry, her stomach would not stop rumbling. Oh, we haven't eaten a bite for days. Sally wanted to take a walk in the park to forget her hunger, and left the house. She took her canteen of water with her. After a while, she wanted to drink some water and rest. However, just then, an old woman in shabby clothes appeared before her. The woman slowly walked up to Sally. <coughs> Girl, give me a sip of water. I haven't had a drink of water for days. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> of course, here you go. You can drink as much as you want. The old woman drank the water and turned into a beautiful young fairy in an instant. A fairy! I want to thank you for your help, beautiful girl. Make a wish. My brother Harry and I are very poor and hungry for days. All right, look on the table as soon as you get home. You will see a magic bowl. A magic bowl? Yes, when you say cook bowl, cook a hot meal. It will cook for you sweet porridge. When you say stop bowl, I'm full. It will stop cooking. Now you and your brother will never go hungry. Thank you so much, young fairy. Hey, little girl, don't forget the magic words for the magic bowl. Sally ran back home. Indeed, as the fairy said, there was a bowl on the table. Hmm. Sister, where did this fancy bowl come from? It's not fancy, Harry. It's magical. This is a magic bowl. Okay, but what good is an empty bowl, even if it is magic? Now, be quiet and watch. Cook, bowl. Cook a hot meal. After the magic words, the bowl suddenly got hot and started to cook sweet porridge. But, but this... how. How does this happen? The bowl is truly magical, so we won't be hungry anymore. Harry and Sally ate not one or two, but ten plates of sweet porridge. And when they were finally done, Sally said the magic words to stop the bowl from making more. Oh, I'm finally full. This porridge is delicious. Oh, I could eat this every day. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. You'll never believe how I got this bit. Indeed, Sally and Harry ate sweet porridge for days and never got tired of the taste. One day, before Sally went out, she wanted to tell her brother Harry how to stop the bowl from cooking. Harry! Harry! I have to tell you something very important. Come now. Harry ignored his sister's call and didn't come to her. So Sally went to him. But just in that moment, she forgot what she was going to say, because she was often forgetful. Ah, uh, what is it? Why are you standing over me? I'm sleeping, can't you see? I was going to say something very important, but... You forgot, huh? Classic Sally. A sister with a fish memory. Don't be so mean, Harry. Anyway, I better go. But once she was outside, Sally remembered what she had to say to her brother. Oh, now I remember. I had to remind him how to stop the magic bowl. Oh, well, Harry won't wake up until I get home anyway. But sure enough, Harry woke up while she was away and got up from his bed and went to the table because he was very hungry. Cook bowl, cook a hot meal. 
the magic bowl started to heat up immediately. The home smelled of sweet porridge again. Harry had eaten a large plate of sweet porridge and wanted to stop the magic bowl from cooking. Oh, I ate so much. I think that's enough for breakfast. Stop, bowl. Don't cook, magic bowl. Um, stop. But the magic bowl didn't stop cooking because those were not correct magic words. Um, dish, pocus, hocus, stop. The magic bowl did not stop. It continued to cook sweet porridge. Oh, no. What am I going to do now? This bowl won't stop. Stop, broken bowl. You're making a disaster. No matter what Harry said, the bowl kept cooking sweet porridge. By the time Sally returned home, almost the whole house was full of porridge. My brother probably hasn't woken up yet, so now I'll cook him a delicious porridge. Wah! What is this? When Sally couldn't open the door of the house, she looked through the window. And what did she see? The whole house was sticky and full of porridge, as her brother Harry couldn't stop the bowl from cooking. Oh, this is awful! Harry! Uh, oh, sister, help me! I'm gonna fall in! Stop, bowl! I'm full! After Sally's magic words, the bowl finally stopped cooking porridge, so Harry was saved from drowning in porridge. <laughs> hey, yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Sally. What are we gonna do with all this sweet porridge now? Our house is all porridgey. Sally had a great idea. She immediately went and called her other poor neighbors in the neighborhood. Each of them lined up outside Sally's house. While Harry filled the plates with delicious porridge, Sally handed them out to their hungry and poor neighbors. Thank you so much, Sally. You have fed our hungry stomachs. Yum! So delicious! Harry and Sally were very happy to help poor people like themselves. It felt good to help out their starving neighbors. Then, an old, poor-looking man came to them. Oh, it is true. A magic bowl of porridge. I've been walking for days to find food for my wife and children. I am so tired. Please, give me the magic bowl that I may go home and feed my family. What are we going to do now, Sally? If we give the magic bowl, we'll both starve. Don't think like that, Harry. The man's children are hungry. Children should not go hungry in this world. Take the bowl and take it home to your family. At that moment, the man turned into a beautiful young fairy. You, you are the fairy who did me a favor. You have made me really happy, Harry and Sally. You fed the poor people living in the town and helped the man whose children were hungry. In return for your favor, you can keep the magic bowl of porridge forever. You deserve it. Really? really? <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Every day from then on, Harry and Sally continued to hand out porridge to the poor people of the town. Their generous hearts became as sweet as the porridge they shared. As they saw happy children, young and old people with their stomachs full, they also lived a happy and peaceful life. <laughs>